Hey, what's up, YouTube? Here's another video by Red Test and Wrenches. Today I'm going to show you how to properly test your uh, test the relay that you find in your car, and you suspect it's got uh, it might have an issue, or you just basically want to cross that out of a problem list. <laughs> uh, so basically, yeah, every relay you find it's going to come with well, not every, but most of them come with a diagram on the side, and as you can see, each one of these here is uh, numbered. We got 30, 85, 86, 87, and then you go look next to each one and you're gonna see the numbers so we got 30 here 85 86 and 87 up top so back to the diagram again this basically tells you whenever the the the, the system between 85 and 86 becomes energized which basically means whenever power or ground is supplied to one of these you know it's different in every car I think and basically when this system becomes complete uh, this circuit becomes complete it pulls this little, uh, I guess, I don't know what to call it, but it, it's it's basically, it's uh, normally it's not, this, the circuit between 30 and 87 is not complete, but when this becomes energized, it pulls that, I'm going to call it a flapper, <laughs> it pulls that in and it completes the circuit between 30 and 87. And uh, in order to, to check to see if your relay is working, you basically want to get a power supply source of 12 volts you can use your car battery or I'm gonna use my uh, um, this battery for my wireless drill and you want to connect one side to uh, to 85 and the other side to 86 and you're gonna hear it click make sure you connect uh, if you use it one of my like mine make sure the, the right one is uh, you know the ground is to the ground and power is to the power and of course I got this the wrong way so basically, yeah, we got, again, we got one side to 86, and we're going to connect this to 85, and then we're going to listen for a click. There we go. That's the click. Okay, so most people would stop at this and call this a good relay, but in order to be 100% sure, which I strongly recommend you do, you do make sure, you're going to need a multimeter. And uh, you get a multimeter, and you're gonna have to basically, once this clicks in place, you wanna make sure there's no resistance in the circuit between 30 and 87. Cause you could hear a click, but there could still be problems inside which would uh, prevent this, prevent the power being uh, uh, traveling free, freely between 30 and 87. So again, so we got this, uh, so we got this connected to our battery we hear the click, that means this, this thing is supposedly clicked into place. So next we put that aside, we go to our uh, multimeter, uh, we put it on ohms, which is, that's, that's the sign for ohms, and then we get our connector, connectors which I have again, I'm using uh, alligator, alligator clips to make it easier, and show you guys, let's see, it's going to be hard to show. But anyway, so yeah, we connect one uh, to uh, to one side and the other to this side. Once we connect that, this is this is like uh, this is like uh, when you have this side, this is basically infinity. It needs to go to zero or really really close to zero, base depending on what setting you have at the ohm reading on. Okay, so let me show you. See if I can do this like this. All right, so we got the. Uh, we got the system between 85 and 86 energized and we heard the click. Now we're going to check for resistance between 30 and 87. And there we go. All right. Yep, that means uh, there's pretty much next to nothing as far as resistance goes between 30 and 87. And that means this relay is good. But uh, I, have a, I have another relay here that I need to test. And I wanna, it's gonna help people understand out there that you really need to check the resistance between the relay in order to call it a good relay or not. Because this relay is basically, it's got the same thing, it's got the same diagram on top. And, uh, you know, we got 30, even the same numbers, they come from uh, Volkswagen Passat. We got 30, 86, 85, and 87. And here we got. We got yeah, 85, 86, 30, and 87. 
So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna connect our battery to the to the 85 and 86, and we're gonna listen for a click. There we go. Got that part down. And next, we're gonna connect our uh, multimeter and check for resistance between 30 and 87. So we got uh, one connector here, and I'm gonna grab the other one and connect it to to the other one. Okay, so if this is a good relay, this needs to go to to zero or point zero zero one or something like that, right? And we got nothing. That's right. So you know, this again goes to show you whenever you're testing a relay, you want to double check. The resistance between the second circuit or 30 and 87 in our case and make sure there's no resistance because I would say even like experienced mechanics I've seen them I've seen them do this you know just go listen for a click like, oh that's a good relay no no sometimes sometimes it's not a good relay and then you know if you're not 100% sure if you can't rule something like a relay out by 100% while you're diagnosing a problem in your car and you just test it for a click and you didn't put it back in then you're gonna spend you could spend <laughs> hours days whatnot looking for some problem that's not there it's just your relay you just didn't test that properly so so again make sure you test this relay right and uh, hope you like this video and uh, if you want to see more like it please give this a thumbs up and uh, if you have any comments or questions please leave them below and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching